When you want to render multiple takes, there's several options. The first is the render all takes to picture viewer and team render all takes to picture viewer commands, which will render all of your takes in sequence to the picture viewer, either directly or using team render. And there's also the option to render the mark takes either directly or via team render. And that will use the check marks here to the right side of the take manager and only the ones that are marked will actually be rendered. You can also render takes through the render queue. So if we go ahead and choose to open the render queue, and in fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose add to render queue, and we'll save the file. And here we have our file in the render queue. And as you can see here, we now have an option to choose which takes should be rendered, as well as the render settings and the camera. Now, one little note here is that the render queue, unfortunately, does not support the relative path names yet. So we'll have to go ahead and copy this path here and we'll just go ahead and put it here and replace the relative part of this path. And now you can see that that error went away and we'll be able to render this file. It does support tokens within the render queue. So uh, we've got our main take here. We'll go ahead and control drag and select the second one. And we can go ahead and choose the high hull take. Control drag again. Maybe we'll choose the mat B take. And we're ready to render this out via the render queue. Now, of course, you can also use Team Render Server, and if you want to do that, you're going to want to go into the file menu and choose the Save All Takes With Assets or the Saved Mark Takes With Assets option, which will save a complete project folder for each take. So if you save that directly into your Team Render Server repository folder, you'll get a separate job for each project folder, each take. And also, finally, there's the option to use the command line to render your takes. Just use the dash take parameter within the command line field. And hopefully your favorite render manager will support that soon as well.